Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about a service that I came across today on Cloudflare. And this is a 1111 for families. And 1111 is the Cloudflare DNS. So DNS is kind of like a telephone book for the internet. So it tells you how to get to certain sites. And Cloudflare has their own version of this. And uh, the address is 1111. And uh, the most popular one is Google, which is 8888. So They've made a 1111 a DNS lookup for families. And what it does is it has um, malware blocking or adult content blocking. So you see here it says there's two flavors, 1112 and 1113, no malware or adult content. So in this video, I'm going to do a quick overview of setting this up, at least with my equipment. Your equipment might be a little different. But to do a test, what I'll do is I'll go up here and say new private window. And I'll type in the name of a site that you would think would be blocked. And I'm going to close this down, hopefully before it loads, otherwise I'll blur it. But you'll see this site will start to load, okay? And uh, that came up. So if you had a kid in your house that was on the internet and you don't want to go to that site, there's numerous tools you can use. This one is free, that's why it's nice. May not be the best tool, but if you don't want anyone on your network to have access to those sites, you can block it at your router level. Now it is bypassable too, so it works better for kids that aren't good with technology. So I'll demonstrate this on my Mac. We saw that just come up. What I'll do is I'll switch over to my system preferences and I'll click on network and I'll click on advanced here. And then I'll click on DNS. I'll click the plus icon here and I'll enter in 1.1.1.3 and this has the full filtering on it. And I'll hit okay. So this will just change it for my computer. I'll hit apply. This can take a second for it to take hold, so I'll wait before I try it. Okay, now I'll go back to Safari. And what I'm doing here is I'm going to the uh, private window. I don't want to actually load the page I was trying um, and have it in my cache. <laughs> so using the private window prevents that. And you can use incognito mode or private mode on other browsers too. So now I'll try to go to that website again. And you can see it says Safari cannot find the server. So what's happening is my computer is going out there and saying, what is the IP address of this website? And Cloudflare's DNS servers are saying it can't find it. So it's blocking it essentially. So a kid could manually go into their settings and change it to a different DNS server. So it's, like I said, it's not good for everyone, but it's a quick, simple thing you can do. So I want to take that out of my computer setting. I'll just select it and delete it. And you can do a similar thing on Windows also. Okay, so when you set this up on your network, what you really want to do is set it up on your router. If you're observant, you may notice that the time in the upper right hand corner of my screen has changed. I had actually uploaded this video earlier to YouTube and realized there was a problem. And I got a comment that says, no, 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 do not assign public DNS to clients. All clients should have a router, a firewall as the DNS, and then you use NAT to convert every single connection to port 53 to be sent to the router. Okay, so I set this up wrong in my video. I should have known better. Uh, I wasn't thinking. So I'm going to do it properly this time. So I'm on an Asus router and I go to WAN here and then I go down to DNS1 server and DNS2 server. So here's where I put in the 1.1.1.3. If I go back to their website, and I'll put a link in the description of this website. If I scroll down on the page, it says malware blocking only and malware and adult content. So the primary DNS is 1.1.1.2 and 1.1.1.3, and then the secondary is 1.0.0.3. So you could put uh, 1.0.0.3, and that gives you the primary and secondary with Cloudflare. If you're worried about Cloudflare ever going down completely, you could put the Google one as second, but it wouldn't be filtering. Um, so this is probably the better way to do it. So then you would save this page. I'm not gonna save it right now because people are working on my network. And then if we go over here to LAN, so I'm on the DHCP server tab of LAN, and you see down here it says DNS server, and I had put the Cloudflare address here, and that's not correct, and I should have known better. When a computer on your network asks the DHCP server for an address, this is the DNS server address that will give it. So all of your clients on your network will point to the router, and then the router will use the DNS on the WAN uh, tab to connect up to DNS. So that does it for everyone on the network. So in this case, the computers won't have to like release and renew their IP addresses to get updated because they're already pointing at the router. So every router is gonna be a little bit different, but this is the proper way to set it up here. And I'm glad someone pointed that out because that was foolish of me. 
to do it that way. So again, I'll put a link to this website in the description uh, telling all about it. And if you have any questions in the meantime, please leave them below. And if you have any suggestions like you saw I did anything wrong, please point that out to me also. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.